Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade puff pastry. It's really simple. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really worth it. Um, and then I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of um, cheese and onion pasties, which is a British favourite. Everyone loves it here. Okay, these onions are just going to be left. Um, to the side, we're going to be adding that to the filling later on after we've cooked the filling. Okay, so to this mixture, salt and pepper to taste. Um, so I'm just going to add a bit of pepper. And then you can add, if you want, you can add like your own herbs. I, I'm not really too fussed about the herbs bit. Um, add your cheese, a generous helping, because it is cheese and onion pasty. This just brings out the butteriness. Um, and now. I mean, if you want to transfer it into a bowl, I think that's better, but I'm just being lazy today, so. Add your onion, which has the depth of the flavour in. And to this, just add some cream cheese. About, I think, about two, two to three tablespoons will do. So I'm just going to do three. I love cream cheese. And now, what you want to do is just get a fork and just mash it up. And then we're done, we can leave that to the side to set. Right, okay, <clears throat> here I've got 250 grams of sifted cane flour and 250 grams of butter. Um, and what you want to do is just rub it together, but don't break it completely. So just rub it. Okay, now to this mixture, add 250 grams of cold water, just add a little bit, and when you feel that it's made into a firm dough, then just, you don't need to add any more water. Once it's firmed up, what you want to do is just wrap it up and put it into a cling film for 20 minutes. Now the well rested dough. Let's have a look. Okay. Now first of all, what you want to do is just place it on a well floured surface and roll into a rectangle. Flour again. So fold once, fold twice. And again, flour, fold once, fold twice. Roll in the opposite direction, so this way. And the last time, you want to fold once, fold twice. And with that, I'm just going to fold it again and again into a compact little this will be covered again and put back into the clink um, into the free fridge for another 20 minutes after which you can start assembling your pasties right. okay here's my rested and cooled dough and if you're like me and you find it difficult to roll out um, big sizes then I'd suggest to cut it. So Right, 
once you're happy with that you can cut this into just square pieces so just roughly chop it up into squares just pop that onto a parchment paper and then you can just cook that in the oven um, until the top is nicely cooked and the bottom isn't wet so that's about about 40 minutes or so or half an hour depends on your oven right and we're ready to go Right, okay, so I've taken out some of the pasties that are already done, and if I show you, they're looking really nice. Woo! You can see, really nice. Um, of course, they're not the ones that are ma um, made from the shop, so we've got some differences, but they're really nice, really tasty. I'm just going to break one now.